Hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Brian, the host of this first uh, Big Idea video. Uh, today's subject is the very first humble reading. If you have the old version of the book like I do, it's pages 7 to 21. So let's get started. So here's the deal. Um, we have a journal that's going to be due this week, a humble reading journal, as a matter of fact, and you're going to put your thoughts about one particular idea up in Blackboard. Uh, but this big idea video is just about one thing that I had in mind as well that I wanted to impart to you guys that I think is really important. So I'm going to go to page nine in the textbook and let you know what I think is important. Uh, page nine is that place. If you have the new version of the text, we're looking for the heading called A Brief Argument to Introduction. And there are four things that are listed there that honestly are the four most important things I'm going to tell you all term long. I'm not lying. So as you have this, uh, as you can see, it's four, it's a list, it's like four things. And it starts off with a question. The second thing is a consideration of evidence. And then the third is a decision about that evidence. And then number four is a careful presentation of your answer. And I would argue that um, this process, which Humble lists on this particular page, is similar to things that we do in everyday life all the time. Think about it. So if you're gonna buy anything at all uh, over just a few dollars, you're gonna think about it and you're gonna do some research, I wager. So um, I did it just a little while ago in the thinking about this particular shoe that I bought. Uh, it's a running shoe, it's called the Solomon Sense Ride 3. And I do a little bit of trail running in my neighborhood and I wanted to know what to buy. And my question was, should I buy this sh particular shoe? And of course the internet's full, full of things, full of things that people have to say about this shoe. I looked at web pages, I looked at YouTube videos, probably way more than I should have. And I came to the conclusion that this would be a really good shoe for me. Uh, what I was curious about was the lug pattern on the shoe, whether or not it would be beefy enough for the trails that I run in my local neighborhood and then up in the Frederick watershed as well. And as you can see, it's, it's not terribly huge, but it does the job and I've been satisfied with it so far. I also had questions about this weird lacing system that the shoe has instead of regular um, laces. It has this kind of thing that does this. I mean, really? And I read, I read about that and I thought, do I really want to deal with that? And I thought, yeah, okay, I do. And so I ended up buying this shoe when it went on sale, not crazy about the color, but I did my research and I figured out what I wanted based on the research. Now I'm going to put this shoe back down and grab my book again and have a couple final words. Um, the question that I had that I wanted to ask was, do I want this particular shoe? Number two, consideration of the evidence, which we do all the time. We look around and we consider. Step number three is probably the most important where you actually stop the research part and then you basically decide, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna go with based on what I've been able to research. And then number four, as you can see, number four is really about taking the time to articulate that decision. And that means you're sitting down, you're taking all that research and you're putting it together in a paper. I do this um, from time to time on YouTube as well. You can see that uh, linked up here. Um, I made a, a, a video about this particular shoe, which is really about step number four in that particular list, um, telling uh, the world about my findings on this particular shoe. So far, about 100 people have watched, so I'm doing really great. <laughs> uh, so that's my big idea for this first humble reading. I look forward to reading what you have to say uh, in your first journal entries uh, for humble. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.